We're getting to the point these days that smartphones are not only looking similar, but they're also using basically the same hardware as other smartphones on the market. For example, a lot of these devices these days are coming with the Snapdragon 845 system on a chip. They're all coming with either four, six, or eight gigabytes of RAM. They're coming with a lot of these optimized cameras. So companies these days are actually having to turn to the software in an attempt to differentiate themselves from the competition. Now Samsung has been known for having bloated software and this can be an issue if the bloated software actually impacts performance, which it has in the past. However, this additional software also allows Samsung to have unique features that other companies ha have yet to implement or have refused to implement. So today I want to show you a feature on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus. It's pretty, that's very unique to this device that actually lets you play and set sounds on a particular application to play those sounds on a different connected device whether this is a Bluetooth speaker, Bluetooth headset, any other audio device that you can connect to the Galaxy S9 or Galaxy S9 Plus, you can set a specific application to only play audio on that device. Samsung calls this the separate app sound feature. And we can access it by going into the settings. Then we're going to go into the sounds and vibrations option. We're going to scroll all the way down and look at the separate app sound option. You can see it says it will play media sound from one app on an audio device separate from your device's main audio out output device. So the idea here is, say you use y your phone to watch some videos on YouTube. Maybe every time you watch a video on YouTube, you want to use the actual hardware speakers for that device. But say maybe you use something like Spotify, and every, every single time you listen to Spotify, you always want that audio to play on your Bluetooth headset. Well, with the separate app sound feature, you can come in here, set an application. We'll just use YouTube as, as this example, but again, you can have Spotify. If it's not shown on this list, just go ahead and tap Add Application, and you'll see that application in this app list. We're just going to have YouTube as the example. Once you choose the application we want, um, again, this would be Spotify or Google Play Music or Pandora or anything that you always want the sound to be played on a different device. And then right at the bottom, we have the audio device option, which will have different things here depending on what's connected to the device. So by default, it's going to be set to the phone which will use the phone's speaker hardware. But again, we can have it set to our Bluetooth device. And if we have different Bluetooth devices connected, you'll see those listed there. So once that's set up, we can enable. Then every single time we open up that selected application, whether it's YouTube, Spotify, anything else, the audio will not play through, these, through the device's speakers, even if everything else plays through the device's speakers. Instead, it will use this separate app sound feature and only play the audio through that selected audio device. Now, I've gone and made tutorials for a lot of different phones from a lot of different companies, and I have yet to see another smartphone company implement a feature like this. At least if they have, it's not advertised as a standout feature and it's something that you actually have to dig through and set up. But Samsung has integrated this feature directly into their version of Android. And it's an actually it's actually a good idea. I like that they've done this. So that is how to play media sound from one application on an audio device that is different from the Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Pluses hardware speakers.